Hey guys, it's RJ. Uh, I had my wife help me out today for this video. I've got three Glens. I don't have matching Glens, but that's okay because this is going to be a three-way blind. Uh, numbers are on the bottom of the Glen, so we'll be able to look at them later in case we mix them up. Today's going to be the Battle of the Ten Years, so we got three bottles here. We got a Henry McKenna 10, we got a Russell's Reserve 10, and we got an Eagle Rare 10 store pick. So <clears throat> we're going to try these out. See if we can, one, guess what they are based off of smell and taste, but then we're also going to try to rank them. So let's see if we can rank them and see uh, see how we do and see what we prefer. Uh, obviously, we're rooting for that Eagle Rare 10 because we're a huge fan of Buffalo Trace products. But uh, I had the Russell's 10 the other night. Probably going to have to do a review on that one on its own. And then a Henry McKenna 10 will need to do a review on that one on its own as well. But uh, that Russell's 10, pretty good, so it might be able to overtake that Eagle Rare. So... Let's start out with our first glass. Very sweet smell. Corn. Vanilla. Fruit. Almost like a citrusy. We'll have to work on her pores. We'll need a little bit more than this for our sample. It's hard to get a good smell. But, uh,. We'll have to just show her how much to pour next time, but that's okay. Mm. So it's got some heat. And it's got some nuttiness. I'm going to say number one so far we're working with is going to be Henry McKenna 10. Mm. Very similar profile number two. Very sweet, but has a bite. I'm thinking we're dealing with Eagle Rare 10, maybe on this one. Have to come back to these doing a second round, obviously, but we'll see. That would make me think that this last one's Russell's 10, but let's see if that changes when we start smelling and tasting this one. Definitely smells light. It's hard when I don't have a lot in here to get that, that nose. Very light, very sweet. Well, I'm going to say that's probably Russell's 10. First guess, like, I'm pretty confident. And everybody says you should probably go with that first guess, because that second guess, when you try them, you're probably going to change. So we went one, two, three. Uh, let's try three, two, one, and see if maybe uh, that changes our opinion on what we have. I could be completely wrong, or, or maybe I'm just, I know my, my 10 years, and I'll know them exactly. But um, it's hard to say that I know this Russell's 10 other than what I had last night, because um, it's pretty much a full bottle. This one I've been drinking on for a little while, and this Henry McKenna 10, I only really open this up when we do like live streams and stuff with uh, other people, uh, because people have mixed reviews on Henry McKenna 10. Some people like it, some people hate it. Um, I think when I first opened it, I didn't care for it. It has a very strong, like, peanut flavor note to it, uh, which I actually enjoy. So let's go back to this one. You know, it's, it's light, but now I'm starting to get like a peanut note on this one. So now I'm making, maybe thinking that three might be Henry McKenna. Well, we're out, so we won't be able to change our mind too much on that. Let's see if we can go off of number two. I'm pretty confident that's Eagle Rare. I'm pretty confident. Mainly because it's a store pick, so it does have a certain flavor profile. And this one's a little bit more harsh as far as like that woody, uh, that wood finish from the oak. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty confident that I got them right. Now, if I had to rank them, I might leave them where they're at, actually. You know, I really like this Eagle Rare. 
the store pick, maybe this is a, a different variant because, you know, store picks are pretty selective. Um, but this one's just lighter on the palate. It's a lot sweeter. It's not as uh, wood finished. And I'm not really a big fan of that, that heavy charred oak flavor. So maybe maybe I, I was a Buffalo Trace fanboy and was, was really hoping for Eagle Rare to be number one for me. But I think I might rank it as number two. So we're going to go ahead and check out our little list and see where we're at. Um, so number three is in fact Russell's Reserve. And Eagle Rare 10, I told you guys the burn, is in fact number two. And Henry McKenna is in fact number one. So this might have been my first blind, and you guys might think I'm crazy doing a three-way 10-year blind and actually guessing him correctly. Uh, it surprised me as well. I've never done this before, but always wanted to. I don't really have a lot of Glen Karen, so maybe we could use some uh, some shot glasses too. I'll have to rinse these out if we're going to do uh, three ways or less. But if we go for a more than that, I kind of want more glass, especially because like, I'm not going to say that the different glass like is an issue. It's only an issue if I'm the one pouring them and I have to mix them up. Maybe we'll get one of those little center like disc cart things that spin around. Um, I don't know what you call those, but like you have them on your island normally in your kitchen. And maybe I can put the Glen Cairns on there and spin it like roulette and just have them all labeled on the bottom one through or whatever. We can do a bunch more blinds, but for 10 year bourbons, um, this one, Henry McKenna, uh, it's it's like 65 70 bucks where I'm at and they sell out pretty quick at my total wine I haven't really seen them anywhere other than total wine uh, Eagle rare a store pick is really hard to find I'll be honest uh, I paid a huge premium for this bottle But Eagle rare in general like if there's a Buffalo Trace drop like it's not crazy to pick these up between 37 and 45 dollars here and then this Russell's 10 is um, is I think 35 or 40 bucks as well. So honestly, this is the cheapest one. And I, I think that this is my new winner. Uh, this is the second most expensive and this is the, the most expensive. Um, Heaven Hill Distillery for this one, Buffalo Trace and uh, Wild Turkey. So, whew, wow, three blinds. Didn't have a lot to go off of, but we got it right. Um, if you guys like this kind of content, please like, comment, subscribe. If you guys want to see another blind, if you know my collection, feel free to drop those bottles in the comments. If you don't and you're um, on my Discord, I think I may have posted my link on YouTube. I have a link to a, a Google Excel like spreadsheet. It's got a list of a lot of bottles that I own. Um, and those bottles that I own, it'll tell you whether they've been opened or sealed. It'll tell you some, some details on them, alcohol percentage, how much I paid for the bottle, if I have more of it or not. Uh, if you guys want to see reviews on those bottles too, please comment. Uh, if you want to see blinds on them, definitely comment. Thank you guys for tuning in. This is RJ with the three-way blinds. Uh, Russell's 10 Reserve. It's going to take the lead for me. I was, I was impressed that I got it right. Thanks, guys.